great things popping tonight. Not only do we got DJ Killer Kevin in the building, but we got a cat. I don't know if he's out of, uh, I think he's out of Carolina. I'll ask him. Everything was kind of put together last minute, but I'm glad that we stumbled upon this cat because he's making some great music. Yeah. Uh, All-Star, the Young Gun, is going to be live with us on the line in just a minute. Before we bring him in, friends and family, we're going to play one of his joints. Isn't what it'll be. This will be Get Loose. Enjoy this shit. Detroit Unplugged. Yeah. Damn right, you out. to the show. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where hip-hop resides, of course, the Church of Hip-Hop, Detroit Unplugged Radio-ism. Uh, how the fuck you doing, brother? What a great show, right? Yeah, I'm doing good. This is a good show so far. It really is. And uh, we appreciate you checking in. If it's your first listen here to Detroit Unplugged Radio, it's not going to be your last. We appreciate you. Of course, we celebrate hip-hop everything here on this forum. Uh, we're going to jump right back uh, into this interview-ism. We played his first joint. This cat's doing his damn thing. Damn thing. All star, the young gun. Uh, welcome to Detroit Unplugged Radio, my brother. What's going on with you, man? Listen, North Carolina's very own. Welcome to our show, my brother. Glad to have you. Hey, man. I appreciate you having me, man. It's all love, dude. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, like we you know, we were chopping it up in the green room, man. And me and Ism, it's it just uh, when we could celebrate hip hop in every city, in every state, in every uh, province, country, around the world. It really is special because our culture is breathing well. And in North Carolina, brother, you're making some good tunes. So when we found out we could have you on the show, we jumped on the chance. Hey, you know, it's just a big, it's just a big opportunity, and then you know, spot for me is, is you know, is for you guys to find something 
it's uh it's it's a great thing to do it's being a part of this music man it uh it, it can educate people you never thought you'd be around or uh, talk to in your whole life and from places you, you know never be able to guess yeah you're damn right well listen uh, here tonight you know of course we're gonna play your tunes uh the songs you submitted for tonight's celebration but on top of that you know we want to keep it uh well balanced and hear the story uh behind everything here at Detroit Unplugged, it's important to paint that picture for our audience and for our listeners. You know, moving forward, we want them to get to know you a little bit. Fam shit, man. It's the only way to go, right, Ism? Damn right. So I want to start right there, my brother. I want to give you the mic. You know, we want to uh, hear about the humble beginning, so to speak. I want to hear about when you really fell in love with hip-hop. So if you don't mind, share with us moments when you really, uh, you know, fell in love with it and got bit by the hip-hop bug, my brother. Man, hip-hop, man, it's, it's a funny thing. It is some of the people can only relate to through different aspects of, of their own lives, but at the same time, they're living the same life as, as what you're hearing uh, you know, through the music. But I really didn't, didn't really relate to, to the culture as deeply as I do now until you know, I really fell on some hard times and I made some bad decisions in my life. And, you know, everybody went the whole jail route like everybody else did, you know. But it, it's... Uh, it's really humble when you start to, to look at how your decisions affect other people and you really see that through music, you know what I mean? Uh, artists like Biggie and, and Tupac, I'm not I'm not with this new wave of music, man. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't I don't like the mumble rap, I don't like, you know, not, not to throw shade on anybody, you know, anybody's lane, but that's just something I don't get down with. But something old old school like Pac or Biggie or uh, Big L, um, yeah. you know, I mean, that that's what really made me fall in love with hip-hop. Yeah, I love it, man. You're absolutely right, man. Uh, you know, music really is the best therapy, man. It's very therapeutic. It, it sure, certainly is medicinal. And, and when you can affect someone with your tunes, like Pac, like Biggie, like L, like Nas, uh, I could go on and on. A lot of the greats that helped uh, are, are catalyst here in hip hop, man. These cats really uh, they give us medicine. And although you know, even our fallen comrades uh, like Pac, man, his music still moves mountains, man. That's a beautiful thing. That that shows a lot about, uh, you know, what hip-hop can really do in your life. Definitely, man. I mean, I, I feel like, you know, one of the biggest downfalls we have as a culture is is we kind of let those legends rest, and nobody really wants to remember them until something huge happens, like, or what seemingly seems to be huge happens, like, like the Tupac hologram of Coachella, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, everybody just, you know, let Tupac music just ride. Like, like it wasn't, you know, the greatest shit to ever really come out. And then all of a sudden, the Coachella thing pops up, and then everybody wants to, you know, get a buzz around Pac's name again for a little while. But we're not doing our due justice to people that are coming up after us by not showing them stuff like Tupac and, and Biggie. And, you know, things just during the 90s, man. The 90s was, was, out, it was outrageous. No, I totally agree. And that's why here at Unplugged, man, we've had nights that we've designated to celebrate our fallen comrades. You know, we've had uh, Machiavelli Music in the building with us. Uh, you know, of course, uh, DJ King Assassin out in L.A. He spins Detroit Unplugged Radio on 98 to the beat. Uh, so certainly, uh, we walk with Pac's family, his friends. We celebrated his career, his spirit. And really, when you do that, man, it, it really uh, brings forth a lot of magic and a lot of power, man. You know, uh, Pac's music is timeless. So it's our duty as hip-hop connoisseurs and brothers and sisters within the culture to celebrate this man's words because they're truly That's important right. to this day. And it needs to be dug deeper than, than something like, you know, just to hit him up. I mean, he had real messages with his music to, to people in, in general. Just, you know, as an overall, you know, society, here's what we're doing wrong, that's what we're doing right, and that's what the things we can fix. And he was no bullshit about any, any of it. You're right, man. And Corrupted Cavs, man, said DOS Effects. Yeah, yeah. Man, listen, DOS Effects was dope. Yeah. Yeah. Bump, skibbity, bump, skibbity, bump. I love that shit. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yes, it was That's great. I mean. it, it was it was for the it was for the culture too. It wasn't it wasn't all about money. It was it wasn't oversaturated with gimmicks. No, nah, man. Back in the uh, back in the late nineties, man. There was there's no other motive, man. It's love and hip hop, making great tunes, man. Shining stars were just that. If you're filling your uh, wallet full of lettuce off hip hop, it's because you have pure MC or DJ skills. Yeah. And, uh, you know, society certain dic society certainly dictated a different path. Uh, and, and now kids got their own interests, man. And sometimes, you know, hey, yo, some people love bubblegum hip-hop, bubblegum rap. Uh, yeah. But we here at Detroit Unplugged believe in that authentic shit, that real stuff, that top shelf, that five-star, the shining stars, the upper echelon, the grind horses, the real ones in every city and state, that in every country is what we celebrate here at Detroit Unplugged. And that's why you're here, brother. 
I appreciate that a lot, man. That recognition really means a lot to me. It's, uh, I like to keep things bars over bullshit, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah absolutely. And, and, you know, I'll be the first one to tell you, we get a lot of submissions here at Detroit Unplugged. And I'll be the first one to say, ask Ism. I, I, I never tell anyone they're whack. But certainly, we don't celebrate everything. You know what I mean? You can't feed shit sandwiches. Yes, men, uh, don't don't help the culture move forward, man. So we really got to be pure with this thing. We have to have integrity, and we got to care about our culture here in 19, my friend. Exactly. You know, criticism is only is only criticism if it's constru if it's constructive. If it's you know, there's no construction to it, then all you're doing is hate. Damn right. I, I could talk about this shit for hours, man. Let me let me ask you this, bro. Talk about. Uh, the hip-hop scene there in North Carolina, man. You know, I like to visit, when we have people on the show, me, me and Ism, we like to travel to that to that location, really, in the spaceship, and, and, and kind of celebrate the culture in each city. So tell us a little bit about North Carolina, uh, the history of the culture there, and, and where it is here in 19. I hear that, man. It's, uh, you know, it it's, couldn't be in a better motion. It's not in the place it needs to be quite yet, but it's, it's making a, you know, a great step towards that direction every time every day you know every time you turn around there's something big happening around the carolinas i mean there's so there's too many dope artists around here to name man um but you know of course the baby just got signed and everything so that's bringing a lot of attention to carolina um you know a, a guy i work with uh a guy i work with over the platinum plus studio in monroe north carolina um or on monroe road in uh charlotte north carolina one of the two <laughs> A little bit mixed up, but but I think it's Monroe. But anyway, uh, he just won producer of the year at Carolina Music Awards. Oh, wait. Uh, you know, big things, big things are happening all around the city and all around the state. It's just uh, a matter of getting everybody towards one common goal, or you know, certain group of people towards one common goal. Everybody wants to you know push their self, their self, their self, and this is not a, a eye game, you know. Yeah, and that's listen. That's the type of uh, thinking we got a, a eighty six that we really have to stay unified. Uh, by uplifting each other, man, we, we, we can shine together. And uh, division doesn't work at all. Ego, man, it don't fucking work, man. In Detroit, man, I've watched our culture come a long way. Here in 19, we are so tight. It, it, and everyone's so uh, so supportive of each other, man. And that really right. is how it has to be in every city. And not only that, but me and Ism, we believe that we need to celebrate each other no matter where you're from. We're all a brotherhood, right. man. Hip-hop, man, this thing, man, this is fam shit all day long. And we got to make sure that we make noise for each other. That really is the key. Exactly. You know, my, my brand is my brand is I am my team. You know, it's it's just it's you know how I live my life pretty much. You know, but it's not a it's not a statement of saying hey, you know I am my team. But you know I will still work with you towards the common goal we have without it being any bullshit. I mean you can you can help push each other without having to be competition. Absolutely. Listen, me and Ism have celebrated other radio shows. You know, anyone that's moving forward uh, for the betterment of hip hop is on our team. Doesn't matter yeah, if you're exactly. co a competition or not, man. We we uh, we had a lot of great radio shows on that were our competition directly, and we celebrated them on on, on our forum because that's how yeah. we have to move forward selflessly with integrity for the culture. That's it. I mean, at the end of the day, the best the best, the best music can come out on top. At the end of the day, I don't care if it's mine or if it's the next man. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do care if it's mine. I'm a, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist <laughs> as far as that goes. Right, right. But I mean, you know, I don't. I, I, I like seeing people win. I don't want to see nobody lose. My thing is, there's so much money out here. There's no reason for people to to let that come between them if it's a you know working situation. Yeah, we could all share, and we could all eat steak at the same table, man. There's a lot, of, lot to go around. Listen, let's do this. I want to hear a song, man. I want to keep it balanced. I know our listeners. Out in Radio Land, certainly are jonesing for another one of your joints. Um, Ism, what'll it be? What are you thinking over there, man? I did it. I yeah, did it. Yeah. Talk about yeah, I did, did it, All Star, please. I did it, man. I did it. That's the uh, that's that's just basically saying, you know, I did this, I did that. Yeah, I did it, but I did it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna tell me. <laughs> I love that explanation of this joint. I love it, brother. Uh, yo, late, ladies and gentlemen, on Radio Land, let's celebrate the career of All Star, the Young Gun. Here on Detroit Unplugged. Yeah. Yo, Sonny, what it do, man? I'm sorry, y'all got signed in. Pet and plus, we're the thing. I did it for the money, crap. I did it for the green. Yeah. I did it out of purchase screen. Shout to get your team. Got it.
to deal with the new supply that do the guy that always got some new to try. Bitch, I'm getting stupid. I don't keep it with everything I do with mine. Yeah, I'm going solo if I do the spot. Let me do this suicide. I always got a few to try. Alice and Pregnano, what up, though? I like that little top sandbag. That that's shit's snazzy. Jimmy Duncan's got the volume all the way up. Don't wake the kids up, Jimmy. <laughs> Young Gun, what up, though? Welcome back to the show, brother. What's going on with you, fam? Yeah. Listen, yo, that song was hot, my brother. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. That that whole album, man, that's 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 my baby right there so far. You know, that's uh, that album is straight heat. Listen, brother, I'm all, I'm all about high energy, and when, when we put that song on, when Ism started spinning it, everyone in Facebook Nation went nuts, and I know all of our friends and family out in L.A. tuning in. They may be stuck in traffic. That was like fuel. That was like medication uh, that could help him get him through that ride, man. Ooh wee! Hey man, I'm glad, glad, glad I can provide that for him, man. That shit is, uh, that's that's like I said, that's a piece of me, man. That, that's something I don't half-ass. I, I go, I go 120 percent when I hit that shit. Well, I love it, man. It certainly created a magic here at the Detroit Unplugged Studio. So thank you for sharing it, brother. Listen, I want to dive back into this chat. It's story time, my friend. You know, here it is at Detroit Unplugged Meanism. and we love to hear a great story. It's all about those times, man, that we create as artists over the years. Uh, those times that at the end of the day will always stand out like a slideshow in time. The type of memories that you have, that you've accumulated, that at the end of the day will change the aspect of your day. When you're going through tough times, when you got storm clouds overhead, I want to hear about a memory or two that at the end of the day will part those storm clouds and allow the sun to shine right through, my brother. Right, right, man. That's 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 what we live for. We doing this kind of thing, man. Anything that has to do with music, that's just them kind of moments. Man. I know uh, you've got a time, maybe like a memory of a show or or a sight oh, yeah. or, or a memory, yeah, I, man. I mean, I can, I can, I've got numerous ones, man. That just absolutely just made me feel like this is where I'm. This is where I need to be. You know what I mean? Uh, for instance, like I, I'm living in New Bern, North Carolina, it's down in the coast, man. Uh, about twenty twelve or so. 2012, 2013. Right. And uh, I just lost my job, man. I'm like, I'm real bummed out and everything. I, you know, we go to this club called Diamond Club, and it's some kind of random, you know, theme night, whatever. Next thing you know, DJ gives the mic to some random cat and starts spitting or whatever. 
And you know, it was alright. But it was a black and yellow remix. And I'm not gonna say your names, I don't wanna even offend nobody. <laughs> but it was a black and yellow remix that he did. And uh well, I mean it was it was alright, you know what I mean? But I just dropped a black and yellow remix back then and that shit was pumping, you know. <laughs> Right. And not, you know, not to ride my own dick and I'm just saying that shit was fucking, that was hype. But, uh, I jumped, you know, I jumped with the DJ, but I'm like, yo, man, let me jump up, let me jump in the I got the same exact, same beat and everything. Just run that beat. So he ran the beat. <laughs> and, man, that place went off. I'm talking, man, that whole place went nuts. And it was just something that, it, you can't replace that energy. That, you can't synthesize that in no, in no laboratory <laughs> before no drug. You know what I mean? Like, My man that, that went up before him right was like, shit, he ducked out of the club, didn't he? He got the fuck <laughs> out of there, didn't he? <laughs> I mean, he just, I mean, you know, he, he was, he was shining and, you know, I wasn't trying to, you know, throw no shade on the boy. Nothing else was, well, it is uh, what it is. Like I said, I, my beliefs in the back, in, in my heart, you know, that's bars and you need to be heard. It's here, you know, I don't care what it is. But yeah, um, damn right. When that place, when I, but I, halfway through that first verse, man, that whole place just I, I hear the oohs and the ahs, and I look up, and, you know, first, I don't know, fifteen people I see are just bumping. Like right? I'm talking about a break their neck type shit, and uh, that that energy just fucking it, it just lifted me up, man. That was uh, that definitely was a silver lining for for a tight time in my life. Awesome. See, that's the type of shit I love to hear. Uh, those are the type of memories that, you know, when we're old and gray, man, when we're thinking back in our careers, that's, you know, I know that's one of those times you'll be thinking about, man. How precious. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, man, definitely. I appreciate you guys, man. Damn right. Listen here, brother, switch directions now, brother. You know, by having you on the show tonight, like I told you in the green room, the objective is to share your your uh, your music with the masses. You know, our family here at Detroit Unplugged, we want to make sure they become fans of your craft. So that being said, I want to know what's on the forefront here in 19 and beyond. I want to know what we can look forward to in the near future and everything that you're doing coming up. Uh, now, right now, I'm, I'm working on a project called Mount Hollywood. Uh, it's you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a free mixtape now. Though this project here is, uh, it's got some remixes on it that people you know seem to really like. I uh, remixed the uh, the a the uh, AT Aliens beat the Outcast did. Um, Call it 828 means it's my, this is where I'm from, you know. But, uh, also I remixed the Eminem beat, the soldier, and, uh, J. Cow, not J. Cow, J. Cole, uh, Neil Chow. You know, and it's got a couple, it's got a bunch of original stuff on it too, but it, those, those few, uh, remixes seem to, you know, pull a lot of attention. Nice. Word up. Uh, I can't wait to, uh, hear what the future has in store for you, young man. And, and listen, moving forward, anything you need played here on Detroit Unplugged, you already know. It's as simple as clicking that email, brother, and we got your back to the hilt. I right, fast, man. I appreciate that a whole lot. Now, I do want to mention one one other, uh, or two other groups, actually. Uh, and one of them is Rhyme O Cypher. That's man, Lingo and the boys over there are doing really, really big stuff. What's the name of the there. group? It's a, it's a Grime O Cypher. It's a, it's a cypher circuit. Oh, word. Yeah, I, yeah, I made five appearances on that in the last year and a half and nice. I've been viewed over 60,000 times you know what I mean like, <laughs> these, these guys are these guys are cypher. yeah they're, they're lighting shit up man I'm telling you right now I gotta Lingo check these is, cats uh, out uh -huh. yeah it's it's a cat named Lingo that runs that whole organization man and it's it's fire huh. well, bro you know we gotta celebrate it here in Detroit Unplugged if, if it's right. out there doing great things you know we gotta celebrate it right and you know, my and my uh, my people up here at Platinum Plus recording, man, Charlotte, North Carolina. If you got any kind of recording needs, if you're listening from the Carolina area, them boys is where it's at. Slimwood, uh, Sunny Beach, Mel Silas, all them boys up there doing crazy stuff. Had no pop off shooting videos. It's uh, and Louis Bay, I can't forget about Louis Bay. But uh, I'm telling you, man, it's I'm telling you, that's that's the one stop shop for everything we need. I love it, man. All started young gun. Now we're, again, thank you so much for taking time out uh, this evening, this Wednesday night, and chopping nah, man, it up with Uncle Rocky. It, is, it means the world to us, kid. Hey, Rock, right, man, I appreciate it. Hey, listen, man, appreciate you sending my stuff, man. Oh yeah. Listen, if you need anything, hit us up. Until then, continue to do great things, and, and re really keep aiming for the stars, man. Sky's the limit. Remember, in life, speak things into existence. Your music's great, and we can't wait to see what the future has in store for you. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate, appreciate the time, man. You're damn right. You be well. Young right, Dom, we'll talk well. to you again soon. Right. Yeah, yeah. There it is, Ism. What do you think about that? Awesome. Let's play our brother out with a song, if you don't mind. We got two. 
Let's play a block. Let's do it. Enjoy it. Detroit Unplugged. Oh, shit. But y'all know what it is. Good night, James. Good evening, my friend. <laughs> you motherfucker, you sold my car on my phone? Motherfucker, man. Mama, see, look. There you go. See what I'm telling you? He ain't all smiles and handshakes. Oh, 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 oh,